Right, so the first big contribution that Italy made to world cinema was the neorealismo films of the 1940s and 50s, dramas like The Bicycle Thief and Bitter Rice. And at the beginning of the 1960s, the important Italian crime films were ones like Salvatore Giuliano and Mafioso, and they owed a lot to the neorealismo films still. They were black and white films without any slam bang action sequences, emphasis on weighty drama, or in the case of mafioso, black comedy. Characters would do some shooting or get shot, but that's about it. But jump to the next decade, the 1970s, and the Italian crime film was now in living color, full of action, full of violence, full of nudity. In fact, the Euro crime films of the 70s are considered some of the best in cinema history for action and violence. So what happened in the intervening years, and was it always destined to become an action genre? Or did it have chances along the way to become something else? So the Euro crime fad of the 1970s was the big action film trend that replaced the spaghetti westerns in Italy. And a lot of people look to the years 1972 and 1973 as the years that the changeover took place. Those were the years, people feel, that the Italian crime films became the dominant action genre, replacing the Italian westerns. And that's not wrong. But we can't overlook the importance of the year 1968. That year not only gave Italian crime cinema some big hits, predicting the explosion that would come in the 1970s, but it also offered a wide variety in the types of Italian crime films that were made, showing the genre could have possibly gone in a number of directions. And I break those types down to an action variant, a star-driven variant, and a highbrow variant. Now, one of those films from 1968...